Hi, I'm Jim from ePass Performance. We're here to show you the install on a C2 Corvette. This is the kit that we have made. This is the electric motor. This is the ECU, firewall plate, steering column adapter, and the steering shaft. Okay, first order of business, we'll need to remove the battery cable. We'll need to take the steering column out from the rag joint to the steering wheel bring it over to the bench to take it apart and we'll start showing you where to cut it. Okay, now that we have the steering columns disassembled on the bench, we will need to make our first cut on the steering column itself. And its first cut is 10 and 3 quarter inches down. Once that is cut, we will go to the steering shaft itself and then measuring from the splines, you will come down nine and a half inches and cut here and then you'll double D up an inch and a half. On the C2 Corvettes, the turn signal switches, you have an electric switch and you have a cable operator switch. This model we're doing has a cable operator switch will need to be removed from the steering column and then moved up to the brake pedal assembly and then mounted with a self-tapping screw. We can now start assembling the lower half of the steering shaft. The firewall plate needs to go onto the steering shaft, the three quarter inch double D, and then you slide the one inch double D all the way until it stops. This will get installed later. Now we're going to work on the motor in the upper half of the steering column. This is the adapter. The slot needs to be made before this gets put together. The slot will be three and a half inches from the cut end, and it's a half inch hole, inch and a quarter long. This will be where you tighten up your set screws for the steering shaft. Once this is made, you'll take your coupler and insert the coupler on the steering column, and then the steering column and coupler gets installed on the motor. And now this part can be placed in the car and assembled. Now that we have the shaft assembled, the steering column halfway assembled, we'll need to install a brake light switch in the car. Once the brake light switch is installed, we'll have to install the turn signal switch. Now we're gonna install the lower half steering shaft and firewall plate. We're gonna start by putting this coupler through the hole in the firewall. Okay, once we're through the firewall plate, we're gonna go ahead and mount this on the steering box and tighten the set screws. And then the firewall plate, we're just gonna leave loose, just like this for right now. Now we moved inside the car and we have mounted the ECU for the electric power steering unit and the spot we found is right here on the transmission tunnel. We went ahead and mounted that and now we're getting ready to install the power cord, which will run out through the firewall. We need to find a suitable place in the firewall for the exit of the wires. Okay, now we're over here on this side of the car. We're gonna install the upper steering column empty with the steering motor. We're gonna leave this loose. What's gonna have to happen is this goes in and it goes, motor goes above the parking brake rod. And we'll go in and I'll go ahead and take the lower steering column shaft and put it into the spline. And then we'll mount this to the underside of the dash. Now after this plate is on, we'll need to take the two bolts Put them in through the top and mount the steering column up now. Now that we've installed the electric motor and column, the steering shaft's gonna need the set screw put in it. We're gonna need to clock the motor, mining of the parking brake sim and the brake assembly. It'll, there's very little room, but just move it up and stake the motor. Now that we have the electric motor in and the steering shaft staked, what we're gonna do is take the steering turn signal switch assembly and the center shaft. We've got to insert the wire in here first and then it goes through this hole 
and then this wire's gonna go under there and everything's gonna go in at once. Now that we've got the center shaft and the turn signal assembly mounted, we've got to go under here and tighten up the two set screws that hold this shaft to the electric motor. And after we're done with that, then we're going to have to put the steering wheel on and adjust the height in order for a good fit on the steering wheel. Now our turn signal assembly is hooked up, we're going to need to go under and finish up hooking the horn and the turn signal module up. Now we're moving on to hooking up the control module. The control module power wire is already connected. We got weather pack connectors. We've got the connector coming from the electric motor and we're going to go ahead and plug the electric motor in to this plug here and then the two weather pack is going to go ahead and get plugged. And then the small red wire goes to ignition hot. Now that we've got everything hooked up, we're going to go ahead and tidy up all the wires, making sure that they're free of any obstruction, reassemble the underneath of the dash, reinstall the steering wheel. Then we're going to move to the outside of the car and put the firewall plate on for good and hook the power up. Okay. We've went ahead and reinstalled everything, hooked the battery up. We're going to give it ignition hot, wait for the click. Okay, we have the click. We're going to go ahead and take this for a test drive, clock the steering wheel, and after that, we're doing good. And thank you for watching our videos.